Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Port Farm. This is episode 2. Before we jump in, I would like to just say, anyone that has subscribed lately, thank you very much. And anyone that is watching and likes Farming Simulator and loves Let's Plays, I would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, drop a comment, leave some tips, leave some recommendations, uh, just leave a nice comment in general. Um, in the previous episode, we got the wheat field harvested. So we have a lot of wheat, and it's a very bad time to sell the wheat, so I think we're going to buy some chickens, if I can find out the... There we go, <laughs> wasn't in the trigger. Um, We are going to buy some chickens, because we want eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. So I feel it's probably the best time to buy them, because we have a lot of wheat, we can just literally throw them in. A drop of wheat, I don't think they need water. And we can get the egg production underway. And as soon as we start to have some hay bales, grass bales, whatever, we can probably buy the sheep. Because they'll just require water and uh, hay or grass, I imagine. And the cows then will probably have to wait till we have like straw, we have silage, we'll have to have, you know, and probably even a bit more money. But anyway, chicken produce eggs, uh, which can be sold directly or processed further, which we will be doing. Uh, chicken like wheat, barley and sorghum. Right, that's great. This animal has reached its breeding age. Animals that are healthy and older than six months can reproduce. Okay. I don't really want to worry about reproducing. We'll probably have a few that reproduce. But. um, Yeah. Gestation period is two months. So they, re they rebreed quite quick. So I do want a lot of chickens. And I know they kind of run around the yard. Which is kind of frustrating. So we won't be. Uh, how many can we have? Oh, we can only have 50. Right. Well, let's have 40. 35. Uh, young ones. We'll have a... Uh, well, I know. Two roosters. And the rest then we will have old because they can reproduce then. Uh, so 13. That means they can be reproducing nearly straight off the bat, which is actually a dumb idea because we can only have 50. So what's the point? Um, well, in that case, we'll just go with the 13 young ones. Because we don't really need them to reproduce. Yeah. I have heard that the older chickens also eat more food while producing less eggs. So, that's not good. Um... Well, yeah, then we need to jump into the tractor and... Uh, where did I leave my trailer? <laughs> I forget where I left my trailer. But we'll find out. We did do a bailing in the last episode with the go wheel. So, it's cool to have the net add-on. Uh, net and twine. I think he used the twine for the square bells. Don't think it's down in that yard. Uh, oh, we left it down there to go with. Yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> okay, so at least we have chickens. So that can start with the eggs reproduction. We... Eggs produ production. We are going to be moving these straw bales today with the Merlot. Um, I'm hoping the Merlot can actually connect to the bale trailer. But if not, we can get the Valtra. We do want to get that harvester going as well. Uh, the inside of this trailer is filthy, so I think I am actually just going to clean. I did remove the mud mod just because of the dirt of the trailer. It just kind of turned me off it. So actually, let me just real quick. I think I actually have a, like a portable hose. Yeah. Portable jet wash. It's 75 quid. We're going to use this just on this tractor simply because the mud mod just destroyed it and we done no work with it. So I don't want it spotless, but the trailer definitely needs to be a bit cleaner. Uh, I don't understand why the inside we got so mucky. So, and straight away, like we done no carting. We literally drove it from the yard, parked it there. And the combine came up beside it and then we moved it to there where we just picked it up from. So, yeah. 
hopefully it won't get too muddy. Um, but yeah, thank God. Oh, that's a shed. So, now we train back is under this. It's going to be hella fun. Do we refill from here? We do. We have to refill from here. Is the trailer too big or something? Okay, I can't seem to get the trailer to tr gain the trigger for the refilling, so it might have to be sold and swapped for something else. Um, I mean, I don't understand why that's not filling, but... That's so frustrating, because this trailer is unbelievable. This is definitely where we fill from, though. The trigger is there. Too far in, like I don't understand why I can't. I just cannot get it to flick up. I just want, I'm hopping off R here, so, um, I have no idea what's actually wrong. So that kind of sucks that we can't use this trailer to refill from. Okay, this is the trailer I decided to go for, a uh, broken. So, we can use this and it holds 30,000 litres, which the Michelin one holds at 40, so we're down a little bit, but... Yeah, we'll go at 10,000. Uh, should be enough for now. Uh, that's a real pity now we couldn't use the... The Michelin trailer. I really, really was looking forward to using that. But, oh well. This is a nice trailer too. It's actually from Ireland. The Brooken. I actually went to school with the son. Of the Brooken trailer. I know him. So yeah, I don't think they're I don't know how much they're going to take actually. Now They could take the whole ten thousand if they do well and good. Oh. Almost all of it. That's saving. So we have the chickens. They took 10,000 litres, which is great. Uh, so their productivity should shoot up now and we should start getting eggs. Oh, okay. That took a little longer than uh, needed with swapping the trailer and stuff. But anyway, just tip this back in the silo and get the harvest and started with the case harvester. That's two seconds that should take. Yeah, that could turn off. And then we need to jump into this machine. We need to get started on harvesting. Um, I don't know what... I'm going to have to do the headland anyway, so uh, I guess... Turn it on. And turn on sh disabled straw because we have enough straw bales there. Oh, the productivity is coming up. We have straw bales there, so uh, we don't have any animals yet, so I don't think we're going to need much straw, so this can be a fertilization stage because I have the straw add-on, which basically will turn it into a stage of fertilizer, which we should see on the map. Yeah, see, it's all, we're harvesting and it's already putting down the first layer, so that's great. Yeah. So that's fantastic. We can then give it a go of pellet fertilizer when we sow again in this and it ferments, or not ferments, germinates. 
Um, yeah. Whoa, a lot of dust over this crop. I have a dust add-on mod as well to make it more realistic. Of as much mods as I can to kind of make it more fun and realistic. So, yeah, I guess I'll just fly around really quick. And get the two, headland, two laps of the headland done and we can set a worker off in one direction and he can fly on. And we just have to move the bales and keep the tank of the combine empty. Just coming up now to unload the combine. It is full. So we're going to unload this, finish this one last bit of a strip, and we can set off a worker then. And then we can clear our straw bales over in that field. It actually looks so good from so far away. The All the straw bales scattered in the field like that. Then when you mow a field of grass, um, all the, the grass bales or whatever, hay bales. Okay. We are done. We can put that pipe in. Let's finish this one bit of a strip and send the worker off on his way. Um, he's going to probably miss a bit, but I don't mind. Whatever he misses, we'll sort out ourselves. Once he keeps the straw on shredding, we are happy. So, if he goes dead straight here, that's somewhere there like that. We go. Yeah. Let him off, and hopefully he turns to the right. And then we can do all of what's on the left ourselves. So this is going to need to be moved. Uh, where to, but... Down here somewhere. I'll just keep an eye make sure he swings to his right. Not his, not do the piece on his left. Because then we should be... I should be safe enough there. That way it's ready to go. Yeah, I will keep an eye. You should do the rest of the field then, hopefully. But we need the Valtra. We need to take off the mowers. Uh, probably should drop off the back ones. It's on the proper side now. Ah, he's only on 50%. We can do another two or three runs. We'll be fine. Actually, yeah, let's come down here. We should be able to get two at a time. Oh, sure the tines are level. Oh, it's hard to do this on a hill. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, maybe I can just, um... Do the best I can here and then fix them by hand. On the trailer. If I need to. Whoa, hit the brakes. So they're 5,000 litre bales. Which is great. Just give them a little nudge actually. Nudge them in. Yep. And off we go. I will time lapse this as well. Um, we do want to spread lime on this field. I'm pretty sure it doesn't need it. Um, I do want to spread lime on all the fields that need. Yeah, all of our fields need lime. The grass field included. So once this is harvested, we're going to have to. That's great that that's working. We are going to have to spread by a, a rent. The spreader and do a full lime thing we're probably gonna have to get a lot of bags of lime because lime goes fairly quick as far as you know in them spreaders uh, 
we probably will keep most of the straw. Because we'll keep from we have the cows. Because we want to bed them and make total mixed ration. Yeah, this isn't even phased by lifting two bales. With them weights on the back. It's great. Although I know straw is quite light. But we will see what it's like when we put more than two and when we put some like silage bales. Oh no, don't get stuck. No, don't get stuck. That's not nice. Ugh. He has an 80% tank. We're going to have to check that. We got one off. Yeah, we're going to have to go now before he hits the end of that. Uh, we'll get this load of the combine and another load. And then we'll probably have to empty, so... get to the end he should unload himself and turn himself when he's done yep oh you're supposed to stop oh he's finished I think anyway yeah so I don't know why this bale is stuck uh, wrong machine <laughs> here we go That's frustrating. Why do you get stuck like that? Maybe I had it too far up on the tines. Oh. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to get this done. I'll time lapse some of it. If it takes forever, I'll time lapse a bit and then just don't cut to the end because this could be excruciating to watch. So, yeah, see how things go.
Right, we are just coming up now. I'm going to put this last bale on. And the rest we're going to keep up here. That trailer is going down to the second yard. So, I will keep these four up here in them little small sheds. I'll bring them up to Merlot. And, yeah, we can nearly... that down in the middle yep and actually we could just move these a bit closer together yeah I know it's a bit rough but and then just throw that strap over that yeah that will do the rest then we will just bring up quickly ourselves throw them in there bring up two at a time I think and oh no don't touch it ah so now when the ba corner of the bale touches it like that corner it's round but I mean the edge like <laughs> no don't do that ow off we go yeah these weights are a good idea they no problem lifting 10,000 litres on this little thing even fully boomed out it's fairly fine I know you wouldn't be doing that anyway, but like, still, it's just good to know. Yeah, and then these ones then can just go in here. For the time being. For when we get cows. Thank God we have four wheel steer on this. Makes it so maneuverable. Yeah, that trailer looks great. We'll bring it down and load it down at the other side and stack them down below. Which I'll probably jump up because I think I've done enough torture for anyone that is watching me stack bales. We have a good 30,000 litres of canola though. Which is good. Oh. So this will be 20,000 litres of straw up at this side of the farm where the cows are. I know we haven't got cows but this is where it'll be stored. This is what I was saying about storing all our bales down at the second yard. And then we can bring up four or six at a time with the Merlot and have that much up here it'd do us for a mix or two and some straw shredding same with the hay then or whatever should do us for long enough once the rain out of cover under the rain he's nearly full so Shut that in a bit further. On its own then. No. It should be fine there. And the Merlot can be fine here for now. And we need to get that new Holland. Ah, back down to the harvester. And he's on the proper side, thank God. I 
think the Valtra would look well on pulling this trailer. Just with the black. I did colour code this myself. It was green and with grey wheels to begin with. But... Oh, I should have went that way. But, yeah, I think the black with the red. I seen one of these in real life the other day on the road. The black with the red wheels like this. And it really caught my eye. So I said I might as well. Yes, thank God we can actually have workers now. Um, in Letton Farm we couldn't. Because they just make a hames of a thing. There was one field where we could, so... At least now... It's great to be able to get this field harvested while we're, we're able to clear that field off of straw, which is a massive, massive help. So we can let them unload then again, and once we bring that straw trailer down to the other yard, we could nearly harvest the rest ourselves. Find there... 85,000 litres of straw. Very good. Get this brought down there. To the other yard and we'll unload it maybe in the next episode. Or I might do it myself off camera just to save the torture. Oh, it's a tight squeeze. I really shouldn't have. Ah. Oh. Such a tight squeeze. I really should move that harvester header. Ah, uh, we can chance going this way. Huh? It's not too narrow. We can have rabbits in this as well. Rabbits in that little shed there. Um, they're really only for reproducing. Kind of like pig's purpose. They reproduce and very quickly, obviously, as rabbits do, and sell them. So I'm not too pushed on getting them. Um... Let me just check the weather forecast, see if I can leave these out overnight. It's to say it, that's so great to see that fully first stage of fertilizer. And the weather. So yeah, seems to be sunny or fine. Until, all the way until October, so I leave this here. He hasn't completed his task, but thank God we're going to be doing that anyway. So I can leave that there. Fine, and I uh, what? <laughs> okay, I don't know why he's in someone else's field through the hedge, but anyway, said we do this by ourselves. So I will crack on with this and jump cut when I have all of this done. Okay, looks we have that all done. I just have to take a thumbnail and um. Can fold all this up. And can actually head out that way. So I will leave the harvester here. And bring uh this could actually bring the Yeah. Why not? This can actually bring the header trailer. Oh should be able to bring it on here. Yeah. Yay. Nice. Now we'll get to see what that field yielded us. We got 48,000 litres off that field. Wow. We got 20, nearly 26 off the other one because the chickens did take 10,000 litres. So, yeah, not bad. Half the size. <laughs> uh, right. Is that done. And then the Merlot. Can head on up as well. I would go to start with the Merlot. Uh, I might actually leave this in here. In that corner, actually. Yeah. Oh. If I can get this in with this over here enough. I'd say that'd do that. 
and then I can come and hook up to this again with the Merlot and just drive out with it because it should spin around here so that's actually ideal and the Merlot can actually stay here and we can close that so the held is up to 60 now which is great so yeah we really need them to hurry up and produce eggs um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done for this episode. Um, yeah, if you liked it, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you drop a comment. If you have any suggestions or anything like that. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Court Farm. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.